Hi everybody, it's Julie. Happy, happy <laughs> Memory Decks Monday. And I have um, items here on my desk from making the toilet paper roll mini album. And so I am going to use up some of that. And I went ahead and from one of the purple scraps I cut out this memory decks with my Heidi Swap memory decks die. I went ahead and used this embossing folder that I got when I bought a magazine at Barnes and Nobles. And I've put it through and because it is white paper with the, um, the print on top, the white is showing through. So it gives it a really good indentation there. It is a pretty, pretty deep um, embossing folder also so so there we go so um, I wanted to add a kimono for this um, project so I'm gonna use this little tiny one but I thought I would show you how to fold a kimono so I got this beautiful origami paper at Joann's and you got 10 sheets for $9.99 I used a coupon um, I have I'm going to be making a junk journal a um, Japanese junk journal also or Japanese theme so um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll make this kimono and I'm gonna use it in my other project and what you can do is just make it smaller so I have a four and a half by four and a half piece of paper. It's a square. It is amazing paper. If you're a paper person like I am, it is amazing and it is foiled. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just fold it in half so that you see the right side. And interesting enough, um, I watched many videos in the past and I've never seen them use a bone folder. They just use their fingernails. So next I'm gonna go and I'm gonna turn it over so the right side is up and I'm gonna fold wrong side into the center. Okay, and I'm gonna turn it this way and I'm also again gonna fold wrong side to the center. Okay, so now I have three folds showing and I am going to take and fold. I'm going to pinch this and fold it to the center. It's hard for me to see. Okay, and and then turn it and again pinch this and fold it to the center. Okay. And now we're going to turn it over and this is what we have so far. We're going to go ahead and take and fold from the bottom up to the top. I think origami paper folding is so fun for paper crafts. So now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut in just to this fold line that is here. Okay. On both sides. Everything that we do, we're going to do on both sides. Okay. Okay, so now. We're going to choose one side, and you can choose Okay, so we're going to make this the bottom of her kimono. And go ahead and fold it into the center. Uh, we are forming the bottom of the 
kimono here. Okay, so we've cut, we've folded it into the center. Now we are going to take and we are going to fold down to just about like leaving a quarter of Now we're going to pull it up and we're going to take this and excuse me this is going to become the collar and we want it to just be over the top about a quarter of an inch maybe even a little less so I've brought it back up I'll show you here okay so I've brought it back up and we have just a little bit of a of a collar there, okay? Now see, we're starting to look like a kimono. Okay, so now we are going to grab this edge, pull it down, and push in on this piece right here as we're pulling down. And that will give us this triangle fold right here okay so if you didn't hear that you get to do it again we're going to pull from this corner while pushing in at this fold and that will give us this triangle okay okay so there we have the kimono and then I have cut a, it's a four, about four and a half inch sash. And we're going to go ahead and fold it in half to get our center. And then we're going to fold it in half again into the center. And I may have made it too big. Definitely made it. Okay, well, we're going to do that again. Let's cut off those edges. So we're going to, on this particular one, we're going to come almost to the inside because I should have, I should have cut it to be that long. Okay, so there, now we go ahead and we attach it in there. And there's our sash. Sash is the very important part of the kimono. It actually says in the kimono, a loose Japanese robe worn with a sash. <laughs> okay, so um, that was the definition. Okay, so there we have it big. And now I'll show you one more time and I'm going to do it little. So what I did is I just cut my square into four squares. So each square is two and a, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. So again, we're going to fold it up. Okay, we're going to turn it over, fold it in with the wrong sides out. it 
end of the center. The wrong side's out. Is that? Oh. Sorry about that. I'm going to do it at an angle so that I can actually see my center. This paper, because of all the designs, will be a little bit forgiving. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and pinch this and bring it into the center. Okay. Pinch this fold, pop it out, and bring it into the center. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and fold it top to bottom. Okay, then we cut into the fold line, the first fold line, cut, and remember we do everything on both sides, okay, then we'll look at it and we'll go, oh, I, do I want that on the top, that's going to get lost on the top, so I'm going to put this so it's down on the bottom of the dress, or the kimono, excuse me. Fold it in. And fold it in. Now we take, so we've got that. Now we take this, come down three quarters of the way. Fold it across. Come back up so you get just that little piece that's going to be the collar. Fold it across across so we've come back up I've left that little bit so we get the collar and now we get to do the magic part okay so we are going to pull from this corner and we're going to push in on that fold boom there you go this was the, the hardest part for me to get <laughs> pull from this corner push in from that fold Okay, and that's because I was going by written directions, and um, it was it was hard to understand. So, okay, so there we go, and then I have cut a kimono, a sash just a little over an inch. Okay, and so what we're gonna do is look and see by the sleeves. We can cut just this little crooked piece off okay so we're gonna go back into the center with the sash into the center with the sash into the center with the sash Okay, we're going to fold out and place the sash onto the kimono. Okay, so we have our little kimono. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and use these on our Memory Decks card for today. This one I'm going to put away. And actually, this one, we are approaching 900 subscribers. So I am going to start an envelope that will be a giveaway. Um, I'll have a few giveaways for when we give get to 1,000. And so, um, starting with this kimono right here, that will be the beginning of the kimono. So, how will you be able to get in the drawing? Okay, you'll want to be a subscriber. And um, you will want to have liked uh, videos 
okay and then your comments will get you um, into the drawing as well so starting with yesterday so yesterday's video or excuse me Friday so starting with the video of the hummingbirds so starting with the September 1st video all of the videos until we reach 1,000 subscribers will um, give you an opportunity to um, to be in the giveaway and I will be adding things to the giveaways there will be a there won't just be one I will have a few of them so some of them will be embellishments some of them will be finished products and the grand prize um, will be able to choose either a junk journal a smash book or a set of memory dexes as their grand prize so um, I'm so excited I can't believe that in a week we added almost a hundred subscribers we were at 894 this morning last Friday we were at 800 so um, that is like so exciting so this could happen really fast and I hope it does so anyway so that will be going into that video also um, we have the 800 drawing that we will be doing on Tuesday and I will be going through and choosing a subscriber so um, the way that you'll be in the 800 is to be a subscriber now um, if your privacy settings are off I won't know that you're there so you might want to turn them on just until um, till Wednesday so that you will be included in this drawing and it started it has uh, some of the the things from making the back to school and then I'm going to add some of my other favorite things to this and it is going out to one of our 800 subscribers. So that is about the giveaway. Let's get making this memory deck. Okay, so I've, I've told you I used the card. I used the embossing folder. This is the card that was on the back of the stamps and the embossing folder that came with that magazine that I bought at Mar Barnes and Nobles and I have cut out this image of the Geisha girl and I have some these came off the internet I sat I um, searched Japanese words and it came up with this and because I'm not selling this I'm I'm gonna go ahead and use it okay so um, these were on the cut apart because there also was papers that came with this and I cut out this branch I also found these on the internet and they are flashcards so these are little miniature flashcards that I'm going to use and some more flowers from the cut apart and then I'm also going to make a fan so um, I just you know a fan pretty simple self-explanatory this is from this wrapping paper vintage wrapping paper this was in my husband's mother's stash of wrapping paper and um, so so the way that I was making these is I just went ahead and folded them to the center and then started folding I folded it back towards me and then I went and I used the other side after you know doing the origami I was like oh yeah that makes sense do one side then the other and um, you might have more control and it seemed to work that work like that so there and then turn it over and so we're just making a fan. Okay. 
है So here we go. Fan. We have a little fan. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, I should have got this going. My trusty book binding needle. Okay, so we are going to use this kimono, the one that we made. And I am going to go ahead and glue down some of the folds. Try and keep it a little bit more flat. So those are the folds. Then we're gonna come back and some glue on the kimono. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and just set it here. And we have the double whammy here. We have embossed, really embossed paper. So want to make sure that the glue is getting contact in enough of this space. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip this. I think it's interesting in Japanese, it took two characters to say dream. A lot of their words took two characters when I was. When I was doing my research, yes, I, I actually do research. Um, when I do a project, I, I enjoy the part about learning about the different things. So um, if you watch the video of the, the tutorial, or not tutorial, but the walkthrough of the mini album, the toilet paper mini album, you'll see that I... Um, looked up about the Japanese umbrella. Um, that's quite interesting and I explain that in that video, but um, interesting that it can only truly be made from one, from bamboo from one place, paper from one place. Okay. So I'm going to wait and put that on after I've added, so I'm going to add the painter because, you know, this is her and she's dreaming and maybe she's dreaming about being a painter. I don't want to cover any of the, the letter or the words because then it might mean something totally different. <laughs> okay. So we have the painter and the watch. Maybe she's dreaming of a new watch. I don't know if she's dreaming of the painter or if she's dreaming of painting. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of fun to make a story with your with your uh, little projects. Okay. 
I still really like this glue, except for that it takes longer to dry. But um, after doing that junk journal, the Peacock junk journal, I am even more happy with it. How, um, ah, we don't want to cover the word. There. <laughs> Again, this is just using things that were on my desk from making the, the project. So now, this is the fan. I'm struggling with it a little bit. It's okay. I want it to go right here. <clears throat> okay. Let's just see if we can find the contact points. Okay. Oh, we lost some of the fan, some wrinkles of the fan over here. Oh, bummer. Oh well. The kimono has not stuck yet. Okay. Now to add a little bit of finishing touches here, I'm going to grab. I'm going to cut out one of these fans, and I'm going to cut the flowers off of the fans. Okay, so we'll just fussy cut. Around. And sometimes these little finishing touches are what really make the project finished. Um, it's like right now it looks like a bunch of stuff stuck onto uh, a Rolodex card, which that's what it is. Um, but we want it to be pretty <laughs> on this Rolodex card. I just wanted to make sure we were still filming. I like, can't tell you how many times I've been talking to myself. Been a few. <laughs> been a few. Okay, so... Now, a lot of times when I know I'm starting a project and I'm going to be doing something like this, I'll have these already fussy cut. But the project, the main project is already finished. I'm just trying to use up stuff bef so that before I put everything away, some of these little pieces. Um, 
so they don't have to go in the scrap pile. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put one little bunch of the flowers down by the words. Being careful not to cover the words. And we're going to put one little bunch up here in the tree to turn it into a cherry blossom tree. Underneath her, so we still want her to stand out. Okay. I think I want one more little bunch of flowers. here because you kind of want to do things in threes it's more pleasing to the eye the triangle um, also keeps people's interest and keeps them looking because um, you know our brains are amazing and they like play the matching game what's this what's this what's this oh this goes with this goes with this and you don't even we don't even realize what our brains are doing But we can help others along. Oh, we still haven't written, put the word dream on. We need to do that. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to trim this down a little bit more. I really do like tearing things um, for my projects. You've seen me do that a lot. Okay. This reminds me of there was a place when I was a little girl in California called Japanese Village and we went there a couple of times when we went to Disneyland and it was so neat it you know the the geish girls or geisha girls Japanese girls would be wandering around there were peacocks and there were deer and there was one of those cool little bridges and I was little I was under 10 when we used to go there and some of my favorite memories with my sister so um, really cool I'm so glad I have them in my head not just the the super 8 movies that we have but I do have uh, have memories in my head as well which is pretty cool so here we go our finished memory decks and this I will be adding oh you know what I'm going to add one more thing because, you know, and then I'm going to call it done. I love the glitter glue. Okay. Um, this one I got after Christmas and I got it for like, um, let's say 40 cents. <clears throat> Regularly $3.99. So 90% off. Uh, you just watch. After a holiday, Michael's marks things. They mark things down. And things, you know, get put in other places. And then all of a sudden they show up. Or you might even find them. It's like, I think I found these over in the... Or found this over with the seashells. Like somebody had put it there. And here we go. There we go. I'm 
just going to add some glitter glue to the leaves and the flowers. Makes me think of dreaming. Okay, with all the flowers we did. Okay, so there we have our dream memory decks with our little kimono. And we have our big kimono. And these will be gifts in our thousand subscriber giveaway coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe because that's and make sure that your settings are so that I can see you. Um, so that you can get into this drawing. There will also be a choice of a junk journal, a smash book, or a set of memory decks cards as the grand prize, and then several small or several other prizes. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy, happy memory decks Monday. And if you have any comments, questions, or something you'd like to see, put them down below. Make sure that you like this video. Find something to celebrate every day. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.